right guys, today we're reviewing the Strike Master 40 volt electric auger. This has probably been the most talked about piece of gear this winter in the ice fishing world. Yes, electric augers have been around for a couple years, but this one seems to be the best one out there. This is not a paid advertisement. I paid full price for this from Marine General. I paid $520 American for the unit with an eight inch shaft and two batteries. Today we're gonna do some tests on it. I'm gonna see how many inches of ice it drills. I'm gonna see how long it takes to freeze a battery in the snow. But for starters, we're gonna pop our first hole. We're gonna measure how thick the ice is to, so we can gauge this properly. And then we're gonna take my second battery. We're gonna set up a time lapse and we're gonna drop it in the snow and see how long it takes to freeze because these batteries need to stay warm. Anyways, here we go. We got two batteries today. We got an eight inch brand new blade so they're sharp. So basically with this auger, there's not too much to it. You have to grip it on the side and then press the power button. So we're gonna start with our first hole. We're gonna keep track on this battery. This will be number one and then we're gonna measure the ice. It's so quiet, I can still talk over it. This is fantastic. We're gonna kick that snow away so we can actually tell how much ice there is. All right, hole number one. There's a little slush on the top, so the measurement's gonna be ice with a little bit of hard stuff, but this Fraybill scoop has a measuring device on the end. So right there's the zero. So we're gonna hook it up to the bottom and I'm gonna mark it with my finger right here. We have exactly 18 inches of ice. So they claim that you can drill 1600 inches on a charge. And this was 18 inches, but that's on eight inch ice. So we take 1600 inches divided by 18 inches of ice, we should be able to drill 88 inch, 88 holes with this eight inch flight. So 88.88 .88 holes. So if we can drill 88 holes, then that is an accurate representation. It is negative 13 degrees. I'm gonna do another conversion because got some American friends watching. So it is 64 degrees Fahrenheit. Does that make sense? I think that makes sense. All right, 64 degrees. So what we're gonna do first, before we start drilling as many holes as we can, we're gonna take out the second battery. We are taking a GoPro. We're gonna set it in the snow here, right there. So I think I'm gonna drill my holes this way. We're gonna set up a time lapse and we're gonna test this. Once I'm done drilling my 88 holes, we're gonna see if this battery froze in that time frame. I have frozen my battery before and it wasn't able to drill. So we're gonna start popping. Insert slow-mo sequence here. How many is that? I don't know, I have to go count. Twenty-seven? That's twenty-seven. Alright, we're this I'm tired. This is a lot of work. I'm doing this for you guys. Forty-five. Guys, I got my hands down my pants. My fingertips really hurt. That's forty-five holes and I didn't think it was that cold and maybe it's just how I'm clutching it, but we're forty-five holes. I got one uh, one dot left on the battery. So uh, I'm gonna take a moment to just talk about this while I'm uh, warming up my hands. Uh, I won't be able to talk with my hands because they're currently touching my upper thighs. Couple things this thing has, it's not normal to a typical auger. Well, one, it's electric. So use these batteries. Um, they're 40 volt batteries. I mean, there's a bunch of different drill options. There's the K drill, which uses, I think like a, a cordless drill. You can use any cordless drill. Uh, I know Eskimo has one called the, the pistol. I think you just put a normal cordless drill. There's, there's Ion, there's Strike Master. Uh, this, is, this is the only, I've used a K drill actually. This is the only other electric drill I've used. Um, it has forward and reverse, which is nice if you get jammed at the bottom. I know it's happened to me with a gas auger once or twice. It's gotten pretty jammed up at the bottom. Um, and check this out on the, on, and this, this is kind of interesting, it's got lights. So when I, when I touch it, when I touch the gas, the lights turn on for a couple seconds. So it's nice in the dark, it's just, it's a nice feature. That is the only thing that feels like it's not necessarily built as sturdy as the rest of it. These lights, I feel like you could break them if you hit it against something. The rest of this feels really solid. And I mean, that's where it comes to why I switched to an electric is because you don't have to deal with gas, you don't have to deal with winterizing it. I was gonna do a comparison between this 
and my gas auger, my Solo three horse that I have at home. And the problem was the Solo has been giving me so many issues this year. And, and if I was mechanical, I'd be able to fix it, it'd be fine. I'm not mechanical. And that's why this is so great and why I'm loving the electric is because there's no winterizing. I'm not dealing with gas. I don't feel that same worry about things going bad. I'm not gonna have to clean the carbs on this. I mean, yes, the battery could go bad after a couple years, but electric is, is easy. So uh, we're gonna talk a little more about this yet, but I'm gonna drain this battery. I'm hoping that it doesn't get too cold, but the actual power head feels warm. The battery feels warm enough. We're gonna keep going. 88.88 uh, .88 holes is what it said online. That being said, we have 18 inches of ice, but there was some snow on top. So, I mean, it, it, anytime it's spinning, I'm sure it's burning a little bit of battery. So we're at what, 45, Nick? 45, okay, 40 holes. I mean, if we get 70, I'll be super impressed. Even even this is, this is good. Like, it comes with an extra battery, or it did come with an extra battery, so it, with two batteries, you should be good in most situations. But anyways, back to work. There's no warm up time. You just press the button and start drilling. And I guess another big point is for drilling in a permanent shack, 46, for drilling in a permanent shack, that's a big thing. Like when Sam and I were drilling in the snow bear the other day, we didn't have to worry about fumes. And before they had to drill the holes outside of the snow bear and then move the snow bear on top. So that's a pretty huge deal. And for people that own a permi, 47, 60. Uh-oh. Ooh, I thought it was done. This is number 61 we're on. Is that what I said or 62? 61. I can't count that high. It's slowing down. I can tell the battery's dying. 61. Let's check the battery on top here, guys. This thing has a little battery checker. It's showing zero. It's showing zero. Let's, oh, oh, oh. We might be able to get a couple more. We're at 61. Sixty-two. That's got to be dead battery. Okay, guys. So that did sixty-two. There's a bit of slush. So I mean, I, I'm gonna give them. My phone's dead. I can't even do the math. Do you have your phone on you? Yep. All right. We got Nick's phone because my phone died. Um, we're gonna do some calculations. That was sixty-two holes, eighteen inches of ice. But I'm gonna say there's two inches of hard packed snow. Those kind of like slushy stuff. So let's let's count that. There's still a little bit of fluffy snow. Let's say, let's say 20 inches. So I'm, I'm, I'm giving them a little more grace. Um, so let's go 20 inches um, times 62 holes. It's 1,240 inches of ice. So, I mean, that's fine. I, you never expect it to go as much as the recommendation says. And I might've ran it a little more between holes. That might be very scientific on a warm day with you know, no snow on top. I, I believe it'd be different. So there's different ways to crunch it. This is middle of winter. This is first day of February. You know, some, like you can take a look at this. There's, I mean, that's the ice there, but it still had to go through that. So, I mean, maybe that 1600 is, is accurate. 1240, if you're fishing early season, let's say you're on six inches of ice, we're gonna divide that by six. That drills 200, 200 holes. That's, I wasn't expecting that on one battery. Um, that's, that's insane. Like. The technology is advancing so much. And, and the thing is, even if the technology gets better, you don't need to drill more than 200 holes with one battery. So, I mean, this is my first season. I've only used this on a couple trips. I am in love with it. And I have a cheat sheet. I had some notes because people are gonna say, oh, it's more expensive. There's all this other stuff. So right here, I got notes on the three augers. We got the Strike Master. This weighs 24 pounds. They have the Strike Light, which is the four stroke motor. That one weighs 23 pounds. And then they have the Strike Laser Pro, and that's the gas auger I have, and that's a three horse. That's 20, 25, so all within a pound. I don't think the weight really makes that much of a difference. If it was five pounds lighter, maybe. It's not a 50 pound old beast like they used to be. Um, price difference. The Laser Pro is 499. The Strike Light is 579. And the Strike Master I got with an extra battery for 525, 19.99. So the prices are all within 70 bucks is this gonna are these batteries gonna last 20 years like a gas auger might maybe but this makes drilling holes so much more enjoyable i just drilled 60 holes in 20 minutes nick i don't know that was quick and easy and enjoyable i've talked to other people and they're like i like to drill holes now once you use one it, it it's tough to go back to gas i have a gas auger that may never make it back to the shop just because 
This is so awesome. It is, it's a game changer for, for ice fishing. It, it's, it really is. It's drilled fast, it has a lot of torque. Let's go check the other battery and see if it froze. I don't think it's gonna be cold enough. I have frozen a battery before. The one downside is you have to keep the batteries warm. It's been sitting in the snow for, let's check that time lapse. It's been sitting in the snow for half an hour. So pop it in. I'm gonna pop, I'm gonna try to pop a couple holes out here. Oh, jeez. All right, see what we got. Okay, so the battery didn't get cold enough. All right, so this battery didn't freeze. That was half an hour in the snow. Um, they do freeze, so keep the batteries warm. Uh, final, final thoughts. When this gets all iced up, I bring it home, I throw it in the bathtub. It, it's clean, it doesn't leak gas. The same things I said, like I'm not a mechanical person. I'm more of a, a techie person, I would say. So I don't have to worry about winterizing and carbs. And I, I feel like a broken record, but for me, that peace of mind is so worth it. And I, I was surprised how close the prices were. Like this is, this is cheaper, than, cheaper than the four stroke, a little more than the three horse, but just as much torque. But that's another thing. I put this in the back, in, inside of my cab and I don't have to think about, is it gonna drip gas? Is it gonna get stolen overnight if I keep it in the back? There's a lot of positives. I, I, I can't imagine what's gonna be next because everything's getting so better and I'm sure the competition is gonna get better too. Um, but I'm very happy with my purchase. This was not a paid endorsement. I paid full price for this, guys. Just so you know, a quote that I heard recently that I liked is make the videos that you wanna see. And this is a video that I wanted to see. I wanted to know how many holes you can actually drill with no, sponsor plugs with nothing this is this is real life test and uh it performed great so i'm happy we're gonna get fishing we're gonna keep cranking out the videos and we'll catch you next time